Hi Capricorn, welcome to May 2018. Now May is a very dynamic month. Uranus, the awakener, the planet of unpredictability, anything that can happen to you out of the blue, Uranus has a part in it. He is moving into your sister sign, Taurus, on the 15th. And this is good news because he will be forming harmonious energy with you. Any planets you have in Capricorn will be getting a boost from Uranus in Taurus. And he's going to be in Taurus until April 26, 2026. He will dip back into Aries just a bit this year, November 6th through March 6th, 2019. In Taurus, this is empowering you to be innovative, creative, using new technology, using your genius to build wealth, to expand out into the world. And it is about new forms of creative self-expression. With Uranus in Taurus, it is activating the area that has to do with true love, romance, creative self-expression, leadership, really coming to know yourself through encounters with others and coming to know yourself in a higher way, in a more appreciative way. And it is about you taking stock of the big changes you have made. And you could even sit back and go, wow, did I really do all that? And you have. And so you want to take moments to acknowledge your growth, your transformation, and celebrate how much you've changed and grown. With Uranus in Aries, it has required you to build a new foundation in your life. It has required you to build up your inner power, your soul power. Now with him in a harmonious position in your natal birth chart, this is very encouraging because it is going to bring you new opportunities, exciting opportunities. It's going to give you the opportunity to perhaps do things you've always wanted to do, try things that perhaps before you just couldn't, you know, the door seemed closed. Now the doors are opening and it's going to be easier for you to make changes and it won't feel as harsh as it has this past seven years with Uranus and Aries. Now with him in your fellow sister sign, Taurus, it is creating opportunity for you to grow and expand yourself out into the world in new creative ways and in innovative ways and it's incredibly exciting. And I will be talking about this for the months and years to come because he will be in here for a long time and it's a fun part of your life. It has to do with, you know, romance and true love and, you know, it can increase your libido. It is a very positive happening occurrence for the Capricorns. And what's really cool is as Uranus goes into it, Taurus on the 15th, right after that, we have the Taurus new moon. And this is an awesome new moon. Both the moons this month are fantastic. And the Taurus new moon is in harmonious energy flow with any planets you have in Capricorn. It is in harmony with Mars in Capricorn, transiting Mars in Capricorn. It is in harmony with transiting Pluto in Capricorn. 
It is being opposed by Jupiter, which is inspiring, encouraging, uplifting. And this is all happening in this fabulous area of your life, which is all about you being uh, creative and trying new things and feeling courageous that you can take some risks, that you can put yourself out there, that you can try to uh, move in a new direction, move in a new way. And this is just amazing what is happening here for you and beautiful. This is a very positive energy for you and you know another cool thing too is mercury went into taurus on the 13th and together uranus and mercury are just sitting right there together on the 15th at the new moon so for some of you you know you may be you know not only reinventing yourself you could be reinventing your life or you're you're reinventing your work you're reinventing something in your life and it's very exciting and fun and liberating and you may even be having you know some brilliant ideas about you know something you want to create something you want to build a new enterprise a new business a new life a new relationship all of this is being presented to you here in May and in the months ahead and years ahead for you and you know with Uranus and Taurus it is about financial liberation it's about women's liberation you know Venus uh, rules Taurus so we're moving away from Mars which rules guns and war to uh, taking care of the environment uh, you know taking care of money and finances uh, creating beauty in the world, creating peace in the world, creating love in the world. This could be the beginning of a love revolution. Uranus is the revolutionary planet. Venus is the goddess of love. It could be a love revolution that, and absolutely want to see that happen uh, for the years to come. And that's why I have created the uh, the Wealthy Goddess program. I you know we'll be launching it in June and it's all about financial liberation it's about empowering women to reach their uh, fullest potential in their businesses in their life growing your business growing your life and it, it you know is absolutely timely for you uh, here with you are doing that that you will be growing your business growing your life in the months and years ahead and my master class launching in June is absolutely perfect for that and I'm so excited about it because uh, you know I, I started building it in December and you know wasn't really paying attention to Uranus entering Taurus at this time but it's so perfect for the astrology of what's unfolding here for you and in the months of the years ahead and your financial empowerment and it's so cool and now Mars is moving into Aquarius the next day after the new moon in Taurus and he will be you know walking right into Uranus and so watch out for confrontations with others between the 12th and the 16th there could be you know something in here where uh, it could be with a child it could be with a lover it could be with a friend it could be you know with someone in your life that there's all of a sudden this this confrontation explosive energy that is not supportive and harmonious with Mars the god of war squaring off with Uranus the god of you know unpredictability and Uranus is a very stubborn sign and so are the fixed signs like Taurus and Aquarius and so there could be you know people just digging in and uh, you know fighting and so be aware of that that there could be some confrontational energy I would say you know the 16th is the day to watch out for 
uh, you know, it's, it's just something you want to pay attention to. Now, Mars is entering Cancer on the 19th, and that's fantastic because uh, that will help with any kind of relationship challenges that may come up, you know, at the 16th and can help to smooth over conflicts. You know, cancer rules the area of partnership and relationships for you, so having her move there is very beneficial for you to smooth out any kind of uh, challenge or struggle that comes up with someone else. And then the sun enters Gemini on the 20th. Now Jupiter is going to trine Neptune on the 25th, and this is excellent because with Jupiter trine Neptune, this is a very positive energy for you. It can bring you greater prosperity, and that's money you make from the business you own or money you make from the company you work for. This could be incredibly, uh, you know, just amazing for you to increase your prosperity. There's also a grand water trine coming up here with Venus and Jupiter and Neptune, a grand water trine, <laughs> which is gifts from the gods. It is positive, it is inspiring, it is uplifting, and it is beneficial for you. It can help you in relationship. Other people can want to help you. Other people can get on board with you, Capricorn, to see you win, to see you succeed. And this energy continues through May into June, where Venus will go exact with Neptune and Jupiter, forming that gorgeous grand water trine right into uh, June. And it's incredibly beneficial for you because Scorpio, Jupiter in Scorpio, and Neptune in Pisces, they sextile you. And sextile is opportunity. So there's tremendous opportunities in here for you in May. May is a killer month for you. And this is uh, an energy that you can really seize and take advantage of and use to move yourself up in whatever you're doing and position yourself well in your work, in your life, in your relationships. Now we have Memorial Day here on the 28th in the States. Yay! Kickoff of summer. And also, it's Happy Mother's Day here on the 13th in the States. For all you moms out there, Happy Mother's Day. Every day is Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah! And now the Sagittarius full moon on the 29th is amazing too. Now for you, it is about working behind the scenes. Sagittarius is 12 signs from you. And so this is a time for you to work, you know, work on the, the work-life balance. <laughs> work on. It's about embracing the work-life balance or the life-work balance. Without, you know, work doesn't matter if we don't have life. <laughs> and you're here to live a great life. And this moon is in positive energy flow with Chiron in Aries and the North Node in Leo. So that's a grand fire trine. And the grand water trine is going on at the Sagittarius full moon. And this can increase emotional intelligence, living from your soul, being open to the possibilities, new possibilities. So take advantage of this energy. For you, it is about finishing something up. There may be a project you're finishing up here at the end of the month. There may be, you know, a business that you're, you're getting ready to launch, a website, some sort of, you know, thing that you've been working on now. Now it's time to bring it to completion and publish it or promote it or bring it out to the world and the next month, June, will be, uh, there'll be the full moon in Capricorn. And that will be all about you and what you're completing with yourself. 
Now Mars is in an interesting place in Aquarius. So he's moved from empowering you and strengthening you, very harmonious with the Taurus new moon, incredibly beneficial for you. In Aquarius, it is in the area of earned income, self-worth, self-respect, self-appreciation, your talent, your gifts, your ability, your inner resources, your outer resources. And with Mars there, it is about the more you hustle, the more you earn. If an expense comes up, you'll have the cash to cover it. It is about you know, going after what you want so that you do increase your income, so that you do increase your earning power. And you want to be, you know, working on sales, working on expanding sales so that the prosperity is flowing to you. That is very important. And then Mercury enters Gemini on the 29th and you are focused on work. So you'll notice that as you move through the month that you are focused on play and having fun and that's awesome. And then as the month moves on, shifting into Gemini, you are focused on work. And by the end of the month, you're thinking about work and what you can do to improve your work. This is the time for you to do it. For those of you open for love, it's on. I mean, you have the new moon there. You have Mercury there till the end of the month. You have Uranus in there now. And Uranus can make your libido sizzle in this, in this placement. So this is a wonderful time for you to meet someone new. You could meet someone who could be very fun and outgoing, freedom loving. Uh, you could meet someone that is unique compared to who you've been with in the past. Yet at the same time, it can be perfect for you, just what you need, a breath of fresh air, someone who's uplifting and inspiring and fun to be with. For those of you coupled, you know, take advantage of this energy. This is a, a, a romantic energy. It's a creative energy. And why not, you know, do something together that keeps the sparks going, keeps the flames going, and there could also be something that you're working on together creatively as a partnership. This is an energy for partnership, a partnership that is um, personal but also professional. It could be, a, you know, someone that you are working with and also very attracted to. So it's on for you. Have fun with it. Go for it. And you know, see where things take you. It is time for, you know, new forms of self-expression. It's time for new innovation, new technology, new creativity. And that's going to increase the money. And you have Jupiter in there working for you. Mars is saying, if you hustle, I'll bring it to you. And so the planets are working to bring you greater prosperity and abundance. And you want to think about how aligned you are with that. Are you aligned to receive that income? Are you focused on the positive? Are you focused on what's working in your life? Are you focused on solutions? That's the key is to focus on solution, to focus on the cure. Don't focus on the problem. Don't keep telling the same old negative story because then you just get more of the same. Tell a new story. Tell the story as how you want it to be. New life, new innovation, new freedom new prosperity, new love, whatever your heart's desire. Tell it in the way you want it. Tell it in the way you want your life to be. Money looks good and, you know, do what you need to do to increase that prosperity. Career is good too. You know, you've really been at it. You've really been working and growing and transforming. Now is a time to use the creativity 
and innovation and technology that you can use to move up in what you're doing. Spiritually, you know, especially at that Sagittarius full moon, make sure you're taking time to get out in nature, walk the earth. In the cycle of Taurus is when we honor Earth Day. We honor Earth Day in the cycle of Taurus. And Taurus is an Earth sign. It rules Mother Earth. It rules Gaia. So getting out into nature, walking barefoot on the grass, walking barefoot at the beach when it's warm enough. <laughs> you know, it can heal you. It can connect you to the Earth. It can ground you. It can inspire you. And that is a wonderful way to connect to source energy, to connect to your mighty iron presence, to connect to your higher self. It's a wonderful way to do it, to feel spiritual and connected to who you really are. And this is exciting because with Uranus in this placement, you're really getting to discover who you are and how much you have accomplished for, you know, really transforming yourself in so many ways. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plus in my videos. Capricorn, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I'm about to launch the Wealthy Goddess program here in June. Your guide to your financial empowerment. This is the perfect time for this program. We're going to grow you. We're going to grow your business. I'm so excited about my academy. I would love to see you there. You can do the email sign up below. You get a free gift when you do, and that will keep you in the know of when we are getting ready to launch. So until next time, Capricorn, it is amazing what's happening for you. It is truly amazing and exciting and liberating.